going to start trying to figure out the intro. There's a, there's a knife there. Could you just push it away from you and towards... It doesn't have to be towards me. Just over there somewhere. Like throw it? No, just just away. Just else. Before you get angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I could never get angry with a pocket knife. All right. It's all good. Was that, was that a cake present? Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good. Here, yeah, have a good, knife. Good cake. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I'm a fan, fan of pen knives. Pen knives are a good call. Yeah, it's my first one. I never had one. Never had one? No. Had one since I was 12. Yeah, I know. That's why I am the way I am. <laughs> <laughs> always ready. Always. Yeah, there's a lot of gain, I'm it feels turn like. I'm you on down because you're yeah. clipping. I'm clipping. All right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, yeah. probably a bit better. Yeah, yeah. All right. There'll always be a little bit of clipping with me, I think. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> pen knives are good. I got into trouble <laughs> yeah. for trying to get my friend a pen knife for his birthday. Yeah. Turned into a big problem because technically people thought I was buying him a knife. It was like, yeah, but it's a pen knife. It's different. <gasps> yes, but what if their parents find him dead? It's like, well, well that's a different thing. <laughs> there is a weird kind of, uh, a weird double standard. I guess it's to do with utility that people don't really mm. consider a knife useful outside of the kitchen. So like you can have a kitchen knife in your house, a massive one. And no one cares. But mm. if you have a, a small pen knife, I'm like, well, what are you going to do with that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I very rarely use the knife. I only to cut, like, you know, the when you do oh, need thanks. to cut something every yeah. now and then. I mainly use the... Uh, well, to be fair, that one is a lot bigger than, I, and stuff. than it looked Corkscrew. in the picture. Okay. No, I, I just got I, your was, picture. I thought, I, I thought, oh, it's, it's like a standard one, but it's got like a wood finish to it. So that's quite nice. But then mm. I got it and it's like... It's a full size knife. Like it's a big, it's a big thing. It's, I'd say that. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, as big as is legal right in this size, country. Right. No, I'd say that's still a pen knife. Yeah. Yeah, smaller than a butt. Well, maybe bigger than a butter knife. Yeah, maybe I'm just maybe I'm the thing. Is, I I I like the idea of no. <laughs> Sounds stupid. I like the idea of being just the guy that's got a knife, but, <laughs> but no, I just I I, I like the idea of of me. being of like having it out and around with me and stuff like um the been there's there's always situations where I'm like uh something like that would be useful um but um yeah, yeah you have to push the badge in oh my it's god a button yeah it okay. took me a while to figure that out um Seems weird but yeah but yeah um but like i don't know i'd be ner- i'd just, i'd be nervous taking it out like i'd or to just to just having it out with me Right. I don't yeah. know why there's there is something inherently like Well, I've had I'm it not um, sure about this. I had it I had my pen knife confiscated when I went to a football stadium. Mm. They were like we just need to th- we're going to throw this away and I was like no. Yeah. And they're like well you need to hand it into, you know, the cloakroom or something. So, like, all right, here's my knife. And then uh, yeah. yeah, that was fine. But every time I go to like a concert, I'm because it's just attached to my keys, mine. Yeah. I'd forget I've got it on me. But I went to like Slipknot concerts and then they're like, no, "That's fine." Yeah. Like we, you're not here because you're, you don't know how to manage your anger. Mm. So you're not going to stab anyone randomly. <laughs> you know, you're here to release your anger. It's fine. Yeah. The yeah. football thing's weird. I mean, you've got to do everything to kind of like, uh, to, to, to alleviate, uh, problems and to, to ensure that everyone's safe and to, to make things as difficult to be violent as possible. But yeah. at the end of the day, you can kill someone with a newspaper. <laughs> like... There's only Can so you? much. Yeah, there's only so well, I'm much. I'm sure you could. There was, um, there with was the something right called luck. the. What's that? Papa mache someone there to was, death. There was something called like the Millwall Mallet or something like that. <laughs> it was. It was. A st- like, and it was. Um, they get a newspaper. Metal jacket, like, yeah. Like soap in a sock and or newspaper or something. Well, they get they get a newspaper and they'd they'd wet it and then they'd fold it like three times and it was just this, essentially just a block of wood blue at that Peter. point. And yeah, they'd I just, guess so. They're just trunching people over the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> they got killed by the Sunday Times. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very forward-thinking person. Yeah, to be fair, if you do get killed by a newspaper, even if it's been hardened, I think it's your fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? Again, it's the whole thing. Yeah. Of like, uh, he's, I've been accused of being too um, harsh, and I guess I am on a lot of things. Yeah. But in terms of like, there's certain situations, I think if you die, you have to blame yourself in a lot of different situations. Not that... And you could have tried to live and failed, and that's admirable. Mm. But there's still like a whole thing of like, no, if you get stabbed, what was the Chris Rock bit? If you're the fifth person to get stabbed in a room, it's kind of your fault. 
Because <laughs> you got, didn't leave. He got stabbed. Yeah. Oh my God, he's getting stabbed. No, he's getting stabbed. It was like, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a thing to uh, trying to sort yourself out. Yeah. But I think that's just my own paranoid view of the world. How are you anyways? Oh, the intro. Forgot oh. the intro. Oh, okay. yeah. I didn't even write the intro down. This no. is episode 208. Uh, I've written that down. All right. 208. Uh, yeah. Uh, just so everyone remembers, we do hate saying, you know, please like and subscribe. But yeah. my logic here is now that, well, if you're already watching the show and you're enjoying it and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Yeah. It's not like we're going out on the street like we did when we went on the street. I that didn't, I, so, <laughs> I didn't realise how common it was to watch something regularly and not subscribe to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, there's, uh, the show, there's a channel I've watched for two years and I realised today I wasn't subscribed. Oh, right. But I've got like different YouTube accounts. I've got the yeah, podcast same. and that. So it's like, yeah, I just realised, oh, I was looking for it. And, oh, it's not in my subscribe list. So yeah, yeah if, you are li- if you like the show please uh, like and subscribe. It is always appreciated. Yeah. We're going to try and do some promotional stuff at some point. And uh, yeah, obviously that would help with all that kind of stuff. If we get to 100 subscribers, we get our own URL. Yeah. So can go to youtube.com slash pulling teeth. We get a podcast. name. Well, there's already a pulling teeth thing. It's just oh, people it's ripping just people teeth ripping out. Ripping teeth out, yeah. yeah. Fucking dentists. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got... Uh, you, uh, Amazon banner if you want to buy stuff on Amazon <clears throat> if you want to help out the podcast for free if you come to our website first unless you're using Brave as we discussed we decide we <laughs> turn the shields today. off yeah if you're using any normal browser on your phone or mm. on your computers click on the Amazon banner on our website which is www.pullingteethpodcast.com that'll take you to Amazon and then you just buy anything as you normally would and if you do then we get a percentage kickback from Amazon mm. if you're feeling like you want to help us out yeah um, other than that we've got social media uh at it's pulling there. teeth pod it's around it's there trying to use it more i t- I, t- I instagrammed today did you yeah because um there's uh, just the odd one now and again yeah like, well, on I, the I account just, which is like do it. it's a it's a picture that i took in tesco yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is saddam hussein he came up on my wish i saw that advert <laughs> and now that yeah. post keeps coming up on my feed <laughs> yeah. every day do you want to boost this post <laughs> yeah yeah, no, uh, today I bathed myself in Icelandic moss scented shower gel. And I thought, if ever there's a way to get ready to perform, you need to lather yourself in moss, right? Yeah, yeah. I I don't mean, know is th- Icelandic moss just a volcano? I don't know if moss erupts. Well, I mean, like, that's all Iceland is, isn't it? It's just, just a big varying volcano. degrees of volcanoes. With a bit of mould and moss. Oh, right. good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I'm... I'm <laughs> Is it a pleasant smell? I don't know. I just bought it. I saw it in a shop supermarket. I was like, oh, Icelandic moss. Mm. Well, who doesn't want to smell like Icelandic moss? So, yeah. It's not because it was just funny because if, if it was just moss, yeah. here's your moss shampoo. You'd be like, it's a bit weird. Oh, Icelandic moss. Ah. Fresh. There we go. Yeah. Mm, sulfuric. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try and start doing it again. I've always said it, but I've actually started doing a little bit of it. So more to come. Yeah. Pulling teeth pod. Oh, on Twitter media. and Instagram, social media yeah. shit. Uh, anyway, yeah, you've, you're have you 33 now. I am, I am. you got a knife. i got a knife, yeah, that I'm scared of. So a it gift over for there. you. You're wearing your slippers with socks. Uh, I, I am. I, yeah. <sighs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throw me off my thought there because it was... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it How wasn't my intention 33? to wear slippers with socks. It was? It wasn't. Okay. You All right. You were manipulated. Yeah. Oh, okay. The world, old age. <laughs> yeah. Your pension came up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you feel different. Um. No. It's got. I think no. it's gotten. But like people s- s- said, like, uh, oh, you'll feel different in your when you're thirty, or you'll feel different. Oh, when you're twenty five, that's when it will hit you. It's like what? Well, I think it's been ever a... really hit me. It's been a gradual. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we've said there's been a transitional period about like when we were like 27. Yeah. And as we got, I'd say around, yeah, now in my life, 32, 31, there was like, oh, no, I think I know my, I feel like an adult now in terms yeah. of I don't relate to the kids today. And mm. I, you know, I think differently about things. I, I've, I noticed a shift um, in what I seek from other people, uh, as in, uh, about so if I'm if I'm talking about like my own work or the the, the things mm-hmm. that I make or something like that, I've gone from being young and seeking praise to being older and seeking criticism. Um, like and I think 
I th- I think there is, but like valid, like valuable from like from people who are uh, who I believe are like better at the things that I'm trying to do than than I am, or mm-hmm. better at aspects of it, or whatever whatever it might be. Like I would much rather now get advice and help in that respect than someone be like, oh, that's that's really good, that was amazing. Like I'm I'm less like. I I th- I think when you're young, you have a much you you, you have a want for kind of like adoration and and mm. all of that. Um, whereas uh, now a, it's more kind of introspective and be like, well, I, I don't really care what other people think. I know everybody says that, but like, I mean, like, mm. I obviously don't want everyone to think I'm a dick, but like, I I but I, I'm much more um, much more concentrated on kind of like self improvement and improving myself, and I don't and I think. I never really got that through praise. It's been a very gradual thing of like, tell me how I can do better. Right. Like, I think that's more important to me now. Like things like that, I think are maybe consequence of aging and experience. I, I, I had a similar thing. It wasn't, I don't think I ever saw like adoration or the, the approval kind of thing like that. Cause I think pretty actively I was a hate monster. So but like I was, the most is I was never good at taking compliments. Like, right. It, it always felt awkward. But yeah. Maybe I just couldn't put my finger on why. I don't know. Yeah. But I think I had a um, an imagination. Uh, like, say, like when I was a kid, I'd be like, oh, it'd be really cool to, you know, do a, an interview with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm. And now I'm just like, I don't know what we talk about. <laughs> you know, I'd like to meet the guy and yeah. have a drink. But like in terms of, let's talk about bodybuilding. It's like, you know, way more. Just, can we just chill? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, it's, it's looking at them as heroes and then being like, actually, no, I'd, I'd rather get to know the guy on a personal yeah. level. That kind of transition. I've had, I've definitely had something like that, which I guess is the same thing. Because yeah. if you're looking for the adoration, I guess that's looking at it as an authority to pass down to you kind of thing. Mm. Or like, yeah, some hi- kind of hierarchy in there. And then as you get older, it's like, oh, it's on equal level. Yeah. As colleagues, how would you critique this? Yeah. Feels like what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's more of yeah. just like a, yeah, and then I guess the next step is when oh, what's the phrase? You become the, not the bishop. <laughs> what's it? <laughs> the bishop. <laughs> you, what was that? You become Monty the Python. rook. <laughs> you become the rook. I don't get it? chess metaphors because I don't know how they move. Oh, yeah. I don't play. <laughs> King me. Uh, no, there was like there's a was it the tribal leader? There's a ter- there's a I think it's a chess term for it. Okay, bishop. Why not uh, the the knight? No, the rook, queen. the knight, the queen, the king. Pawn. Porn. Yeah. Uh, the upside down king. Is there anything else? No. Upside down rook. All right. Can't remember. Uh, but anyway, yeah. The, the, I guess the next step, if you've, if you've gone from like the tribal youngers who are trying to do stuff, and trying to figure out what to do, then you've got the tribal average, and then you've got the tribal elders who are like, "You're doing it wrong. Mm. Don't talk to me." That kind yeah. of thing. I think it's uh, the next step to look forward to, isn't it? Mm. It's going to mm. be great. Are you do anything special? What over the for your cake? Um, no, we just we just went away, put down <laughs> devices away. and um, and like laptops and computers, and switched off all my emails and everything. Yeah. It was nice. I still don't get that, but I just don't have that. Well, like though, yeah. not like it wasn't not like a complete detachment or anything. Yeah, it yeah. was more of a detachment from work for me because I've been going like hell to leather for the last sort of six months or so, mm-hmm. um, like all over the lockdown and all over that shit. So um, it was yeah, and like and it was it was the first time me and. My wife have had like sort of a synced up kind of time off in mm-hmm. months, like like potentially probably since probably since Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, so like it's been it was yeah it was it was uh, it, it was good it was needed. Yeah, nice yeah. little time away. Yeah, yeah. Come back. Yeah, I, th- I think I just turn. I I just don't. Resp- I think I when I finish something, I I'll finish work for example, I kind of turn off ninety percent of it. Yeah. If I still need to be contacted, I can be, but it's like, yeah, it's still most of it is like, nope, that's kind of gone. Yeah. So I think maybe I just do that all, all the time. Maybe, I have um, tried again, to not do wanting that. to talk to people. I have, I have tried to do that. Like it's difficult because when you're trying to, I found that when I'm trying to kind of build relationships with new people and new clients and everything like that, that that you, there is an eagerness to kind of to please and to prove yourself and everything when it's like, well, no, they came to you because they understand what you do and they and they and there's a there is a back and forth here. It's not like you don't have to be ever grateful that you're there, like that that, that they chose you or anything like that. It's like they are they're getting something out of the relationship as well. Um, yeah. So the, uh, I I definitely I had trouble initially, kind of like creating boundaries if someone was messaging me at like ten o'clock at night. I've been like, no, I'm not answering that. I'm not reading that. 
right now. Mm. Whereas it used to be that I would just kind of like leap straight on it. Where it's Fair just enough. like, oh, it's not, it's, that's, that's work. Like I'll talk to my mate, but that's. But I think you, you had it similarly before, right? I mean, the first one I remember is uh, one of the first gatherings we did or something like that. You were like, there's a big niceness about not having your phone work in a field. Oh, 100%. Like a weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I no. think there's also, as well as it being a work thing. Which no, I do, sense. I do get that. It's not nearly as bad as it used to be just because I turned off all my notifications. So it's, and like, I think that's a big pull is just the, the constant like Pavlov's dog, something's vibrating in my pocket. I need to go and see right. what it is. Now, the only, th- the only time it goes off is, is if someone sends me a, sends me a text or to, like something to yeah. that effect, like. There's like I, th- I think the tr- the trouble with like it's the trouble I was having is that you get sucked into things. So like Facebook would send you a notification about something and then you go on it and then once you're on it, I'd be like, oh, they not consciously, but it's like, well, they've got you at that point, and now it's just <laughs> like, here's your feed and here's and you're just yeah. gonna spend like ten minutes scrolling through it for nothing because you had like a buzz and you put like that's that's how it works. That's that's the whole social engineering side of it. Like that's. That's what they want essentially. So, like, I just turned all the notifications off, and it's been okay since then. Fair one. But there is, it is, it is nice to kind of be almost uncontactable in a way. But then you, you liked Guardians of the Galaxy, didn't you? I did. You I did, did small yeah. trees. And- I, think it's great. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the difference. Is like, uh, if I look at a Facebook a comment section, I've yeah. never really scrolled down because I've been like, well, that's not very funny, and that's not very funny. Yeah, this isn't very funny. I yeah, mean, <laughs> I, you know, I get, I don't get immersed in it, or don't no. get interested in it. The, my interest Do you not have a thing of long. like? I don't know. There's something in the back of my head that's like, oh, maybe the next one will be good, or maybe the next one will be good. Well, not for comments, I guess, because uh, of upvoting. It's been like, oh, yeah. uh, if they were any good, I might yeah. see it there. Maybe just, I will if I scroll down, but I can't. The, the, the thing is, if you don't react to anything, then the algorithm doesn't know what you like. This is probably the trouble true. is, I do. I had a oh god, I had it on here. Oh, YouTube has been pissing me off this week to the point where I was actually tempted to get the YouTube premium stuff. Ugh. And it was like, oh, it's like £12 a month. for YouTube? Yeah, but the, the adverts are so fucking horrible. If uh, I can find it here, you, I took a screenshot. The fact that you can't skip a lot of them now and it's like two every... Yeah, every start, so every often, so video. loud and yeah. so rid- and just repetitive. I had this advert. How to express your dog's anal glands at home. <laughs> <laughs> like a video? Yeah, two minutes, 31 uh. seconds. Yeah, it's just a guy, it's just a vet. Well, you can skip it after five seconds. Okay. But it was like, hey, you know, do you want to get Netflix or do you want to express your dog's anal glands while you're home? I was just like, this is a a very targeted advert. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I I like watching the odd dog video when I'm feeling vulnerable and safe at the same time. But uh, yeah, I just found that funny. But yeah, so many adverts from uh, from YouTube this week, and I think it's an attempt to get me to do YouTube Premium. Mm. It's just don't want to. I don't see how it's any more valuable than Netflix. Well, I don't get it. I can get that there's so much more of it, and it's like you know, there's if you like these creators, you can subscribe to it. You can subscribe to creators directly, or it's just like no, just I'm just sick of all these adverts. Mm. That's putting me off of YouTube. To be putting me off of browsing YouTube as much. Yeah. used to like watch YouTube and fall asleep but now it's like advert yeah I, can't, I keep on meaning to bring it up I once saw a documentary of Bohemian Rhapsody the um, oh, the, 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 f- doc film the remake. film remake yeah. it was like 40 minutes long and it was a YouTube advert uh, uh, what? and I didn't realise it was a YouTube <laughs> advert so there's something I was watching something or I clicked on a video and it was like the first thing that popped up and it was like oh I'm, I'm watching this and then halfway through I was like it's been like 20 20- this is an advert. <laughs> what? I never chose to watch this. What's going on? So it's, yeah. So it's, uh, so everyone else tries off. to keep them less than 10 seconds. So we were thinking 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody, right? Yeah. So it's, it's a long song. song. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't, not, not much else going on really. It's been quite quiet. I think US elections are coming up. And like, yeah. uh, it's a whole tr- if you, thing. If you're looking for anything outside of that, like then it's mm. it's it's difficult to find well, anyone that's not Stoke's been busy. To be fair, Stokes. I've I think it might just be that we had two weeks off, but I haven't done a scum this week just because there was so much fucking news. Okay, it's like so. It's, I've just got the I've just got like he- right. headline stuff. But like, uh, there's, there's some other little things then before we get into that. Have mm. you watched the? <laughs> there's a space shuttle challenger documentary. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Four episodes or okay. something like that, and it's just like the lead up and why everyone died. Oh. 
and the, 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 it's it's quite it's relatively interesting the idea is that oh there was like people were saying you know there's big holes in these rockets right and everyone's <laughs> like uh, nah fine no there's like and the holes are getting bigger like um, we think people are gonna die and they're like nah it's fine there's big holes in every the teacher rocket. will save it all you know what I mean but yeah. the, but the big phrases of it I just like just to shut it off quickly is uh yeah the, 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 there's a guy who said Watching the space shuttle Challenger explode, um, and everyone's reaction felt a lot like the Kennedy assassination. And I just like, right. was he in a spacecraft? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was in a car. I thought he got shot by somebody. I didn't yeah. see him explode into yeah. a massive ball of fire. <laughs> I'd say it's a bit different. But yeah, apparently people lost interest in space after they landed on the moon. So that's why they had to do the teacher thing. Oh, right. They were okay. like, people just didn't give a shit. Everyone's bored. Yeah. So, well, we're we sending a teacher. And then after teacher, they were going to send a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but then the teacher then, blew up. Yeah. They're like, like well, <laughs> let's not worry about it. Let's not send the child. <laughs> Who wants to go to space? You <laughs> <laughs> can have a lesson with the charred remains of your old teacher. Yeah. yeah it'd be great. <laughs> but yeah, apparently it was a whole big thing. Obviously, I didn't really. Uh, we weren't really. It was before our time. It was, plus, yeah. It, I mean, it was the mid mid eighties, late eighties, something like that. Yeah, and it was, yeah. It it wasn't really talked about when we were kids. I don't mm. think we did like the moon landing stuff. Yeah, um, I wonder if if British people laughed when they watched it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was in the race, Korea and Russia. Russia, nah. Russia got- <laughs> it's harsh. It's a tragedy, but it's just, it's just so funny. We told them the hole was fine. <laughs> the hot black holes, right? Space, yeah. yeah. That's probably what I'm talking yeah. About. Fine. But yeah, like the, the 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 rubber seal around like an oven. Yeah, you know that rubber seal. They they, they were just like holes in that where fire was coming out. All and, right, well- and they were just like. You know, like we're lucky that this didn't go into the rocket because if it did, we'd all everyone would die. And they're like, lucky it's gone out or it's gone after because they parachute to Earth afterwards. And it's just like, yeah, no, we knew about it. Just um, we we needed to send this teacher into space because people are losing interest. <laughs> well, <laughs> insane. Well, yeah. yeah, they're interested now. <laughs> yeah, there's a big flare now. Yeah, big flare of uh, of space interest. Everyone yeah. loves fireworks. Do you want to be in the fireworks? <laughs> The whole country was following the selection process. I don't know. It would have been amazing if I could time. Tra- <laughs> if I could time travel. <laughs> if I could time travel, I'd go back to like six months before. Or no, it was a two-year training process yeah. for the space shuttle Challenger, just to follow the country, getting all involved. <laughs> I think we'd just better like get two the popcorn ready. Yeah, it'd yeah. be great. Um, yeah, and yeah, is that uh, exciting though? Like, is what? it exciting just to send a bloke up after you've been on the moon? Like, should well, the moon more things is more of a done. big deal. Oh, yeah. For, well, but I haven't really done anything with the moon. Yeah. It's not like we got some stuff from the moon and now we've got this. It's just the struggle to get to the moon yeah. resulted in technological advancement. And you can still do that in other aspects. Was she the, was she going to be the first woman in space as well? No. I think no. she was going to be like okay. the second, say that I would, think. That would be... But she was going to do a lesson Forever from space. joked about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she was going to do a lesson from space, like a teacher's lesson when she was up I didn't even have Skype. I- <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> we've got to, yeah, they had other technology. They had like vid television and stuff like that. They had right. to do that, weren't they? Yeah. I guess. Uh, been on some more dates. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing them again. No, don't. Uh, as of today, <laughs> I've officially taken a break. Right. Officially, I'm like, I'm done for no. like this year. Uh, it's just it was just um yeah a few things i saw um under if loving this is wrong i don't want to be right <laughs> one of their answers was pot noodle and crisp sandwiches i was like i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to go in there right i've got nothing against it it's just if that's where you've put your time and energy <laughs> there's something about me goes like i don't think we'd get on it's a bit, i it's... put carrots in in porridge yeah right that's fine but boiling a pot noodle, drying it out, laying it out on bread, or keeping the juice for dipping. Mm. I don't know. It just feels like you're you're just like, how can what can I eat that I don't have to leave the house? I want to stay indoors. But that's just it. Like it seems, it seems dating websites are going to attract mostly the same kind of people. Mm. Uh, there's the, they yeah. they'll show you the massive success stories and everything like that, um, but like for the most part, it's who else is sitting in, indoors with their computer. Well, I had um, 
I I was chatting to a pregnant woman. Yeah. And she we organized a date that turned out to be her due date. <laughs> So she was so unaware of her own pregnancy and the impact of childs on her yeah. life. We were going to go out for chicken wings when she was in labour. <laughs> I said, you should do you. Yeah, not, you do. Not, yeah, have a you fine. day. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yourself. What have you thought about, like, just... I know it sounds stupid, but just, like, going Reductions. out into the world. Like, or, like, I've been... I, I was I, I was looking up, like, dog parks recently. It was like, there must be, like, there'll be somewhere where you can, like, let dogs off leashes and they'll be, like, privately owned or something like that. There's mm. fucking tons of them around here. It's like, would it make sense to, like, well, just take your dog and go to one of those and you'll you meet people doing stuff like that? They do. Oh, do you? Yeah. I live there next to a dog park as well. Go to a few different ones. Oh, okay. Fair enough. yeah, yeah. So it's like, um, yeah, the, the meeting people naturally is yeah. a bit more difficult when there's social distancing. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, uh, you were always, you always quite successful in that respect. Like you, know, you, you weren't like me where you had trouble going up to people or or anything. No, like no. That. and uh, proof, proof pudding. I can't mm. know what the, I'm forgetting all the phrases today. But I've been on a lot of dates and chat with a lot of people. It's mm. not like a question of I haven't been open enough. It's like no, no it's no, just no, the, no. Um, the amount of people I've met. I'm now done. I need a break. <laughs> Another common uh, statement was, I want somebody who can disagree with me and put me in my place. And let's go, you want somebody to disagree with you and tell you no and tell you to fuck off. And, and I understand See, that there are certain people like that, but I'm just not like that. <laughs> that is, I want someone to make all the decisions. I think it's more than that. I think it's more, I want to throw tantrums and I don't want you to bend over your back for it. Right. So if I throw a tantrum, you just deal with it I'm and dramatic. tell me to stop it. Yeah. And I don't want to stop being dramatic. I'm a chore. I want you to manage me. Yeah. Is what it is. Is yeah. what it feels like. I'm just like, I, that's a whole bag of, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> and then um, I mentioned it a while ago. Um, uh, and again, this isn't about any specific person. This has been a, quite a few people who are like this. I think they're just bad. I think they're trying to flirt for no reason. Like they're just like bad. I said before there was... Um, uh, I asked that. So, what films do you like? And like, oh, wouldn't you like to know? It's like, yeah, yeah. That's what films? Because we're going to watch a film. <laughs> we're going to go out to the cinema to watch a film. What films do you like? Yeah. Well, no. Can you just answer, please? <laughs> <laughs> just, I understand that maybe you're trying to, yeah, do something, but it's not working and it's not thought through enough. It's not creative enough. You're just, yeah, you're just adding a tone to an indecision. And that doesn't help. That's not no. sexy. No. Nothing, nothing less sexy than indecision outside of cinema. There is a weird thing, which is like, um, and I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but I know a lot of people like this. Um, and it took a lot of kind of like uh, arguments with myself to, and it still does to stop myself being like it. Mm. Um, where like, someone's like, what do you want to do? And the first instinct is to say like, I'm easy. Like we'll do whatever mm -hmm. or like whatever you want to do. And it can literally just because be because you don't, you, you actually don't mind. But it, if the other person is like that, no one is making and taking well, any initiative to move the situation forward. Well, it's fine. And as most a first of the time step. you end up doing nothing. Yeah. It's fine as a first step. Yeah. Because if somebody wants to do is something there some, specific. Yeah. That's then, yeah, the thing. Okay, I'll be cool. like, is there, is there anything that yeah. you've got in mind? And then, if you're going to be like, okay, let's do that, then great. If you're going to be like, uh, no, I don't really fancy that, then that's your turn to suggest yeah, something. Yeah, like, you, have to, you have to go further with it. But yeah, most yeah. people want to be, most people are followers. They just want to follow whatever the group yeah. is doing. And it's just like, that's great. But it mm. just means that just know that. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> just then to say, well, they come up with ideas. But yeah, in terms of a profile of like, you need to manage me and just like, you're just openly saying you have incredible baggage that you don't want to deal with and you want somebody else to deal with. I was like, mm. no. And uh, yeah, uh, and yeah, the just the weird, uh, this wasn't even flirting. We went, to, I went to an Italian restaurant because they loved Italian food, mm. is what they said. We got Fair there. Enough. They ordered lots of Italian food, took a bite out of each and said they didn't like any of it and were like moody about it. I was like, well, we came here because you liked Italian food. Yeah. You knew what you ordered. You ordered a lot of it. And then you didn't like it. So I don't under, I just don't understand. Just no. say you don't know Italian food or you don't know what you want instead. Yeah. It's a whole weird, or too do, much is, work. Or is it like, well, I like Italian food is code word for I quite like pizza. Could, yeah, could be. But then and just order pizza. To just be order pizza. more kind of like. Yeah. 
<laughs> just be it's honest like, with yourselves. We, we can go to it. a nice pizza place. We don't yeah. have to go to. Don't even have to go to a nice. Just, what do you want to eat? That's all I yeah. care about. I don't care. <laughs> oh, this has got too much sweet corn in it. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm not here to rate the restaurant. But to, to talk, right? It's like, yeah. oh no, now it's just on the weird carb thing. or off the carb. Not criticising my wife, <laughs> not criticising her at all. I did. But that have you got on dispute. the cob stabs? Or... <laughs> um, yeah, so I've called it brain damaged flirting. I think mm. uh, is what it is. Is what I just can't. And again, most people, are, most people are just looking to hook up. And I'm just not looking to hook up. No. So it's just like I'm just looking for something more. For and I just ongoing feel like it's companionship not with an interesting going. person. Yeah, well, it just, just, yeah, just some somebody special is the thing. But you go like, ah, I can probably work on myself in the next three months and then revisit it in twenty twenty one. Yeah, so yeah, going to do. So I was just like, yeah, I'll just do that and just deleted the app. I was like, nah, sod it, can't be dealing with it. Yeah, no. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, Stoke has been uh, quite busy. Uh, I've seen lots of Stoke articles this uh, this week. Uh, Emma Cassidy was found dead by a worker at her supported accommodation. The 31-year-old hanged herself in her room at a complex run by the Lime Trust charity in Newcastle. Busy, busy girl. She was found dead the day after being told she was being evicted because she was found with drugs. She did appeal the decision later that day and was allowed to stay. So and she then was she killed herself. <laughs> she was evicted. She appealed. She succeeded. Stoke said, you can still live here. And she hung herself. So other issues were going on, but I find it quite funny that she hung herself because she was allowed to stay in Stoke. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It was almost like it was, it's on my list. To hang yourself? No, no, not me, but (laughs) her. Oh, right. Okay. It's like, just because that worked out differently doesn't take it off my list. I've still, yeah, still got to hang myself today. Yeah. I feel like I've done something. Got to commit to my, (laughs) to my thing. Commit to something. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, no, lots of stuff. Got this stuff. Oh, there was also some. Um, have you heard of what is it called? Uh, what's f- fishing with in dating? I've heard of fishing, catfishing, catfishing. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. what it was. Are you not? No, you not, I've heard the not term. Seen like the I've documentary or anything like that. No, no. I, to, to be fair, I don't know why it's called catfishing. Yeah, I asked somebody, and I think it was something about dangling something a specific bait. I but I thought it was like a Chris Hansen to catch a predator thing. So I thought when I was well, the, the first original documentary was, it, was for was children, kind of. So catfishing kind of was thing. like I assumed catfishing was making yourself somebody make themselves appear older so that they would match with a predator in mm. order to catch a paedophile. When it first or something came to like prominence, that, or appear younger. When it first came to prominence, uh, the people that they were spotlighting highlighting whatever mm. um weren't doing it for nefarious means they just had really sad lives and were living fake lives on the internet there's just like so they so would say like oh i'm a millionaire the woman who was be... yeah so it's like there's, there's, a, there's a woman who was obese and just and unhappy and and spent like all her time caring for her, her sick relatives and stuff like that but online she got into relationships with people or she started mm. friendships and relationships with people, with people posing as like a dancer and this yeah, thing yeah. that she'd always wanted to be and everything like that um so it was it was almost like a, like kind of like living out a fantasy it wasn't uh, it didn't all come from a place of like oh, i'm going to i'm going to fuck a kid or like, right. like okay. that that kind of thing. But then yeah. it slowly turned into like false a, identity. Yeah, because the, I think there've always been stories of men posing as different things to entrap women and and do like a, a bad things and, and yeah. whatever. Like, I mean, you 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 had a bad situation or one that could have been ugly when you were, went to um you, you were going on a date I th- potentially yeah you drove that you said you drove down there and like there were oh yeah no the like, mugging thing the yeah, yeah 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 yeah. 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 And like yeah, and like it's that it's that kind of the date in a pub that didn't exist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it turned into that kind of stuff. But yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the the one the stuff that the documentary was highlighting was essentially people kind of living like yeah. just really sad double lives. Well, I heard is what well, now it's posting you know filtered photos of yourself, yeah. and then when you turn up, they look nothing like the filters. Okay. I think that's now catfishing. I don't think that's catfishing. Is it not? That well, I mean, as I in know. people might call it that, but I wouldn't define it. Yeah, as that. that's a different thing. Catfishing that's a, that's feels a different, like you're doing something. That's a different pro- with intent. manipulative. Like, yeah, that's a different problem. I Whereas think. if you're just insecure and po- you're not, yeah, you're trying no, to make yourself look different. But yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. But anyway, uh, there's a there's a new term out. Um, I thought okay. you would. Uh, oh god, like I to read out the. Uh, <laughs> PSA. All right. You've um, not got a noise to play? No, I've got no noises this week, but straight into the camera. Um, it might be a bit different from my normal ones, but I thought you'd give it a go. So okay. three, two. 
Uh, have you ever dated someone thinking that they're supportive of you being queer, ve- being a queer vegan feminist, only to find out that them defending Jordan Peterson a few months down the road? That phenomenon phenomenon is called woke fishing. Um, so you match someone with ACAB in their Hinge profile. Mm. That's two terms. I have no idea what that means. Hinge is the dating app that I use. What's ACAB? I had to look it up. It's all coppers are bastards. <laughs> uh, so you match someone with ACAB in their Hinge profile. There's a photo of them going to a protest or sitting in an organic cafe drinking an oat latte. Uh, it could be that they're really into civil rights and environmentally friendly dairy swaps. Right. Mm. Um, or it could be uh, that every element of their profile has been specifically curated to make them seem more liberal and more politically engaged than they really are. Mm. 19-year-old Hannah explained that when she first met her ex, he spoke about how awful the whiteness of his education was and how he wished the south of England was more diverse. Then, one day, he introduced her to some of his friends as his dirty Arab girlfriend and passed the incident off as a joke. Mm. Uh, Later, he sat her down and explained that he used to be involved in Nazi groups. He hadn't wanted to marry the non-white person because he thought, quote, mixed race children were impure. Mm. They broke up shortly afterwards. Mm. Sex and relationships educator Layla, who blogs as La La Let Me Explain, (laughs) La 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 Let Me Explain, (laughs) uh, believes that relationships with truly like-minded people are much more likely to be successful in the long run. Don't woke fish, honest fish. Yeah. So it's a bit weird, right? That one. That's a real. That's statement. a real thing. Yeah. I, That's not. I didn't write that. No. That was. I transcribed well, I got that because it, it, it wasn't. I think it was a bit extreme. Uh, yeah. A bit weird. And as I heard it, I was like, "This sounds like something that I might write." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that. You know the uh, the famous blogger. La la la. Let me explain. <laughs> what? Why what? are you bringing? <laughs> what's, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, the I, I, nineteen-year-old Hannah did date someone who was ashamed of his whiteness, but then it turns out he was a member of a Nazi group and thought that ethnics were bad. It's like, right? Whoa! So, so, he, so, he, so, so he was a liar. Yeah, but then it's like the extremists of it. I don't know how. My assumption by whiteness of your education means you probably went to a private school. That's what I'm assuming, mm. because I imagine they look more into his. They pay attention more at school than normal people spend at school. I never was never. A, I didn't pay that much attention in history. I know that there were trenches. Yeah, and that's kind of it. Yeah, and in medieval times they still had chickens, but I never thought about it through a <laughs> racial lens. Maybe people do now, but it feels like it's more of a private school kind of thing. Mm. But it was a video by Vice uh. saying that, and, and I know, but like, but like it was about and woke fishing is the real term instead of catfishing. <laughs> it's if you woke fish, it's when you. When state you, on your profile that all cops are bastards <laughs> <laughs> or i what, Wait, what was it an oat an oat latte hasn't this been the criticism of quote male feminists for fucking years though that they're really just taking on this identity to get into bed with women yeah but it just it, it, again there's a level of paranoia about it as well because by the very that if you're trying to be woke woke is in itself self-destructive because you mm. then do argue about who's more woke than who it becomes it's, it just breaks down into yeah. stupidity so yeah. this the, it and not not to uh put them in a, in a big basket but it's just like in that community there's competition amongst themselves mm. so even if you're not woke if you even if you're 100 woke you're still gonna be angry at somebody else who's 99 percent woke mm. one they woke about the extra one percent or whatever it is yeah so it just seems like a big crumbly thing anyway but it's the weird examples and the fact that this is being treated as a real thing and I get that it's a real. I get that there are people out there who, on their dating profiles, make it very political because I've seen it's, it. Yeah, and it's just like I don't, I, I don't care, and I don't see how you should care. Yeah. And just if somebody's saying that they, I don't know, vote Corbyn, and then that makes you think that they're valid enough, I think you need to look. You need to. Everyone needs to be more critical about the partners anyway. Yeah, especially if it's about um, an ideology or a, a random belief. You just go like, well, just yeah, but you know. I th- do, you, do you think all cops are bastards? Because I think all cops are bastards. <laughs> it's just, I don't yeah. understand. I like, to, I don't know. I, I, I don't think, I don't think it justifies coming up with a separate term for it. <laughs> Again, like it's, yeah. it's like, no, 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 this problem is specific and special to us. Yeah. And people like us. It's like, no, it's not. It's just catfishing. It's the same yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. It's basically the same it's thing. It's exactly the same. Like it's, it's just, 
it because it's about you it has to be put in its own box so th- mm. like so so you can demonize this specific thing that hurts you in a specific way and it doesn't matter what everyone else goes through because fuck other people i just don't get it i think it's because i, I think you, you could break it down and say that I think the way most people, I think the average person looks at society and looks at it as a big group of things you can change. If we vote for this, then it will change. If you do this, it will change. I think that's probably yeah. the modern average outlook on it. But mine is just, we're all absolute serial killing psychopaths. Mm. It's a miracle we're doing anything. Why should we vote for anything? Because we're just going to vote for a serial killing psychopath to go do it. And you know I don't trust that guy. <laughs> you know what I've been having <laughs> trouble with recently? Um, and I've been sort of like trying to like kind of pull myself out of the anxiety of it. And it doesn't cause me like that much trouble, but I get these thoughts every time I'm driving now, which is that that person could just steer into my lane. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Everybody's dead. Like it's my great, my it? life's over and their lives are over. My wife's life's over. Like that's Brings it. a smile on your face. Well, just, it's just, <laughs> just the fact that the, there is that much potential chaos away from you, inches away from you yeah, at yeah. all times. And f- for some reason, it just doesn't, it it just it never goes away. Yeah, it, it just it just stays where it is. <laughs> for whatever for, for, for what whatever laws and weird rules and kind of attitudes that we have towards our own life, whatever it is, I at, at no point was I driving next to the 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 suicidal person. Um, like, how much calcium do you take in every day? Because I think you can survive a car crash if you had enough calcium. All right, I'll, that's I'll, the answer. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'll drink more milk. Drink more Danon. Yeah, mm. Mm. whatever it is. No, yeah, but I've always, I've, I've always, I've always had that. I've always had those weird voices of like you can, you know, everyone could just die right now. Yeah, whatever it is. But yeah, it's just. But you've, you're in a different position. I, I, I've my opinion on that is I just roll the dice and be like, hey, if I die now, I die now. Mm. But I don't have any future. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, regardless of anything else, like I don't have a wife and a family to think about my legacy to like, oh, yeah. who's going to look after oh, my yeah, wife? But even when there's no, I guess. Yeah, yeah, like, I'll miss my dog. It. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm dead. But I'll be like, it's not. There is a, so there is a side of it, but like, I think ev- I'm even, even when I'm alone, I, I like, I, I'm what still. the car swerves into me right now? I'm still like scared, scared of death. Scared of death. Oh. It's, in a sense. Yeah. Mm. Like. 33 now. No. Creeping. Ever inching closer. <laughs> death creeping up. Yeah. I've accepted I'll probably be dead by I'm 40. So fucking hell. Like, yeah, fucking screw it. <laughs> That's, all right. I'll have eight sugars in my tea, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I just found it funny before the podcast, sort of steep on me a brew and I just poured a container just of sugar into it. Thoroughly <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> with everything that went on there. It's great. It was hilarious. That's what <laughs> made it funny. Um, yeah. But no, yeah, death will, um, will um, get us all. <laughs> in light of news at Nick Snip <laughs> <laughs> well is this something you get used to you have to surrender yourself to the to your immortality is what mm. it is really isn't it you, you, yeah. you may uh, maybe not that you will end I guess it's like how you can protect yourself yeah and just take a machete when you make your bed it's mm. all downhill from there yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I've had I've had a false sense of security for ages um, because I've been under the impression um, for the last two years, that there's there was a uh, a baseball bat in my wardrobe, and the other day I found it in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it's been moved by the people who live in your walls. <laughs> Get that baseball out. So, but like I, every time I heard a noise, it was, I would just, like I'd run through the steps in my head, go to the wardrobe, get the bat, go downstairs, <laughs> like sort it out. But like without with, and and that thought alone has been like now I can get to sleep. You need something shorter, like a pen knife. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's that. That work much better. If you swing, you're just going to hit your wife. Ah, I, see, I, I guess. I guess. Oh. I like the bat. I, so there's, d- you creates distance. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right. I'm fine with you breaking into my house and threatening my life, but you just get away. I don't stand further away from you. <laughs> like a spear or something. I don't yeah. Know. No knife. Knife's the way forward. Um, yeah, no, yeah. So woke fishing, don't woke fish. Um, yeah. Instead, should honest fish. Uh, back to Stoke on Trent. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of stuff. A girl has been taken to hospital after she was hit by a swing. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in the road, <laughs> Just with a swing. No explanation. Air ambulance, a helicopter. If anything, that's going to aggravate the situation, right? Swing. <laughs> 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 Just got hit by a swing. I, I, I imagine someone 
push so the swing at her, her or something or like something. that? Or is she just walking along and it slapped her in the face? How, f- how fucked do you have to, like, <laughs> does it have to, how, what, like, how perilous does the state have to be yeah. where you can get hit with a swing well, think about the toddler and ones. have to be airlifted? Yeah. <laughs> think about the toddler ones, right? They're like plastic, big Lego cubes, essentially, right? Yeah, I mean, they're heavy. Yeah, imagine they're if that hit you in the metal face fra- fast. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably hurt. Yeah, like moulded heavy plastic. Like yeah. it is. I would yeah. say you would have. She would have. Um, yeah, a girl. She must have been knocked unconscious mm. for an air ambulance to be summoned. Oh yeah, not yeah. just like oh I'm bleeding. So it's got to be a thing where like though they can't move her and there's no way for yeah. an ambulance to get onto the field. Shouldn't have put that swing in the middle of that ocean. Yeah. So oh, now someone's got hit. But no, no rose to the ocean. <laughs> Whatever it is. Um, a spokesman for West Midlands Ambulance Service said we were called to a park in Bucknell at 5pm to reports of a child who was injured by a swing. Mm. End of article. Oh. So, yeah, they were hit by a swing. We took them in a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> in other Stoke news, knife-wielding Adam Johnson left a retired couple petrified after banging on their door following an incident with a neighbour. Residents on Parsonage Street in Tunstall, which is like right outside, it's, it's a road or two away from my house, All right. first became aware of the commotion when he started shouting at someone in the flat above his own. Uh, This goes on for quite a while, so I'm going to skip around some of it. Um, Yeah, basically, he was autistic and struggling with lockdown. Okay. And he just had a mental break because of being isolated for so long. Yeah. (laughs) He was medicating himself with alcohol. I don't know whether that's the right thing to do. Probably not. Um, And his neighbours invited him up for a couple of drinks. Like, oh, why don't you come up? We'll have a drink upstairs. We'll all medicate together. And he was like, I'm going to, no, I'm taking my knife because this is, this is something's going wrong. All right. Which was a, a psychosis, but yeah. I like I like it. So he went and got his knife, and then was yelling upstairs like, "Let me in!" <laughs> <laughs> upstairs, <we're> like, whoa, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but downstairs, there was uh, like an elderly couple in the living room, just looking out the window, and there's a knife wielding maniac. <laughs> let me in! <laughs> let me in! <laughs> and he like, looks down and sees them. He's like, "You let me in! Let me in!" <laughs> Stab in the window. <laughs> Like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> knife wielding maniacs are great, mate. They're, they're the best. It's just, <laughs> the street just, ah! just <laughs> unpredictable. Yeah. It's weird how. Like, this is another thing yeah. I'm I'm feeling as well. Is like because of all these fucking riots and stuff mm. have, that have been going on. I. It's weird how how we all feel safe behind windows. Well, that was my whole thing about I don't understand people have windows, especially with the curtains open in their yeah. house. You can just look into their house. Yeah. And it's like, how can people do that? <laughs> especially now that there's riots and stuff yeah. going on. You go like, yeah. well, they've got a DVD player in there. <laughs> <laughs> Smash it up. Let's go do it. <laughs> I was sat on the sofa. I was absolutely petrified. I was scared he was going to smash a window and get to us. There you go. Um, another neighbour also saw Johnson swing the knife at a car. <laughs> just and again, it's just a lonely break. It's just mentally yeah. from being a moving car. <laughs> Love to stab a car. Um, Police arrived and he dropped the blade to the ground. The officer formed the impression he was under the influence of some kind of illicit substance. Um, then one other neighbour came out of their home, which set him off again. <laughs> he hasn't got a knife up. He's going, I'm going to stab you! <laughs> <laughs> such a legend the pandemic hit and caused him to go into lockdown it was that isolation that caused his mental health to fracture mm. so just the stress just a stress break I guess it would be called plus alcohol I guess but it seems to be mainly a stress break <laughs> stab, I'll kill stab everyone yeah <laughs> even yeah. when he hasn't got a knife I'll stab you <laughs> the- <laughs> does that not inspire you a little bit god I'd love to scream random shit at people it's, I mean, it's such a great to, feeling. To, I, I get I, any time I see someone with like a filter removed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But where what they're saying is still like or doing is is still like perfectly justified. Where I'm not just like you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, like I guess it, it's it's it, in modern days. I guess it would be like being a Karen, or right, or, or what the fuck ever. Well, I I had a moment of that today, right? When you opened the door, I greeted you at like a hundred decibels or something I, like that. That was loud. I just said hello v- loudly. Yeah. And my version of loud, which is which is very loud very for loud. lots of people. Yeah. And uh, I think that's perfectly acceptable. It's nice if I saw that in the street, that would make me. I'd, I'd be happy about that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like guys, really saying hello. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, it's just that. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. It's someone being honest. He's being honest. He does want to stab everyone. Yeah, he's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there's just, no, there's no pretense in that. He's chasing his dream. Nice. Yeah. Like, nice to see someone genuinely just being who they are, just putting it all out there. Yeah. Woke fishing to the, not even woke fishing. <laughs> he's, he's removing all the woke from yeah. his fish. Yeah. Yeah. In other Stoke news, a painter and decorator has been told how he collapsed in a pool of blood after being stabbed twice in a row over a DNA test. Now, someone there... told him that he collapsed. <laughs> No, he told. Oh, he's told. Some, he's told how he the collapsed. story. Right. Yeah. Um. I'll read. Th- I'll go over it, but it's not particularly clear. The thirty-one-year-old says he feared for his life when he was attacked at a house in Chell Heath Road. Again, that's pretty much my road. Yeah. Uh, before collapsing in the front garden, a twenty-nine-year-old Stoke on Trent woman was later arrested on suspicion of wounding with intent. Wounding, wounding with, with intent. intent. She's been released on bail. Well, one. Good. The victim said some of his belongings had already been thrown into the street when he was stabbed. See what I mean? It doesn't really go over what the DNA test was for. In Numbing Stoke, it could be, are they related? Because mm. they're in a relationship. Yeah. I imagine it was like, oh, they child DNA test to see if he's the parents. I'm assuming yeah. that's what it would be. Um, and somewhere along the lines, they broke up. I'm guessing. Um, He said, In my mind, it seemed like I was going to die. If I didn't get myself out of that house, I fear I would be dead. There was so much blood, my top had turned red. It felt like there was a river inside my body because the blood was just dripping all down my body. I felt like I had been dipped in lava. My heart was having shooting pains and I thought my heart had been pierced. I couldn't lift my arm and my body went numb with a shooting pain throughout. I was going to bleed to death. It was like my whole body went completely cold with fear. Ugh. Sounds quite harrowing for him, yeah. right? Yeah. I just found it funny that the spokesman, a spokesman said, we were called to reports of a stabbing where a man had received minor injuries. Minor, he dipped in lava. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't lava, move his arm. Couldn't move his arm. Yeah. Thought he was going to die. Yeah. And, and, and assuming he'd bled out quite a lot. So maybe it was a small cut, yeah. but lots of blood. I don't think it's fair like, to I don't really... I think it's a minor injury. Yeah. To say anything that might imply he's a bit of a hypochondriac after he's yeah. been stabbed. <laughs> Twice. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just... The, all the clothes he was wearing were now his blood. <laughs> yeah. It was just so yeah. much... With a river of... Uh, what was it? Yeah, it felt like his, uh, there was a river running through him, a river of blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but dipped in lava. It's just, oh. just like, yeah, it just feels like a little bit like, oh, he's fine. You Minor like, injury. Yeah, he's going, right. no, I Don't think that embellish. was... Don't That was pretty big. You were only stabbed. <laughs> yeah, just stabbed in the heart. Twice? Yeah, twice. Over a DNA test for something that we don't know. <laughs> Minor. You can stab <laughs> my kid now if you want. <laughs> yeah. you, did you do the blood test? Stab, stab. <laughs> Stabbing is pretty brutal. Yeah. I'm more of a, if I, I was thinking about house thing, I don't think you would stab. I think you'd more like slice. You'd you'd just be swinging. That's the thing. It's like, well, if I'm going to swing a knife, I'd, I'd rather swing a bat. I'd always just go, I think that's my default fighting stance is just bull charge. Yeah. It's just weight. Just like, I'm just like a walking hammer. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to my domicile. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean though? Just like, instead of like, oh, are you going to leg sweep? It's like, no, I'm just nah. going to charge them. Yeah. I just feel like that's the best I could do. Yeah. Just so confusing. You won't charge me into this telly. I'll love to charge you. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. I'll buy another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it for the story. Yeah. And uh, yeah, lastly from Stoke, sorry. To um, a fish tank. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a fish tank just for that. Yeah, into a lake, into a pond, <laughs> a heron. <laughs> <laughs> I only wanted your the Blu-ray player, if that's still a thing. No. No, I guess not. Probably not. And lastly, from Stoke, um, I, do, I, I want to preface this by saying I think it's quite an all right idea. I just think it is quite funny and, and uh, a little bit odd. Waterworld has hit back at critics um, as a controversial family nude swim mm. is going ahead. Yeah, yeah. There's so, been, they've, they've been there, there has already been one uh, like loads a few for years decades. Ago or, yeah, apparently. Oh, has it been going on for yeah. a while? And I was talking to Vix about it because I I still don't really know where I sit with it. I was just like, if it was because like so all the controversy doesn't come from the fact that they're naturists and that it's a regular event or anything like that. Yeah, it is for the British naturism. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do all the checks and uh, uh, checks and balances to make sure everybody's safe and all of that. It's not the fact that it's happening. It's the fact that that the the naturists going, their kids are allowed to go as well. Yeah. So, like, you've got, like, so and everyone's, like, 
uh, just... What if people are looking at kids inappropriately? Right, what like how do you safeguard walked? that situation? Yeah. Like how does how does that... How does that work? And well, for, for me, that and also like, like being in the mindset of like, well, I know that I feel uncomfortable if there's a naked kid running around. Surely everybody should feel like that. And if you don't, what's wrong with you? Well, I guess if you're a naturist, you just have a different belief. Right, you? that's yeah. just it. It's trying to put yourself in someone else's sh- someone else's shoes. Well, I'm but I'm still it. not sure where I sit with it. Yeah, I mean, it, it does get more complicated when you bring children into it. But yeah. if it's a family thing that you embrace all the time anyway, and it's yeah. nothing new to them. Then I think it's probably fine. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just one of those of like, it's nothing's wrong with it. Something could go wrong, but you can't prejudge. So just like, hey, try it. Well, I'm, I, and I love, and skinny dipping is a, is a genuinely different feeling. Same mm. as like, I've never streaked, but I've ran in like, you know, topless in the winter. And it's been mm. like, oh, it's a whole different feeling of bare skin yeah. around the air and stuff. So it does have a good effect. So I yeah. can understand the in, in trance, but I can't understand the risk of going down a slide with your balls out. Yeah, that's the no. point that I just go. No, I don't understand like there's that. times, there's times enough when you can be like wearing shorts and or trunks yeah, or whatever, yeah. and you'll still get friction burns. You can, I get the swimming; it's fine. But yeah, yeah. going down a slide with uh, just, vo- just dangerous, open to danger. It, I mean, both sexes, right? I mean, there's yeah. these bumps and that that's going on. Yeah, just it feels like that could just be a very bad time. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah, and the swimsuit doesn't offer the greatest protection. Oh well, I guess that's the, no. It would offer more protection, I think, a swimsuit. It keeps everything where it's meant to be. Yeah, and it's just yeah, it stops things from getting caught under you. I guess. Yeah. Well, Although maybe it doesn't. You know what I mean? Maybe. I mean, <laughs> take a bikini, right? Yeah. Does a bikini protect your privates from a slide? Uh, the only not. thing I could say is maybe it makes contact less frictionful. Mm. It's the only argument I had before. But maybe it doesn't. I'd, I've never tried it. But I yeah. wouldn't. I wouldn't go down a slide balls first. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> do you no. know what I mean? Yeah. I just wouldn't. I'd just be like, I'm not. I'm not doing that. No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't um, go down the stairs. You know, as you like bump down the stairs or whatever. Oh, balls yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it. No. So I don't care about the morals and the you know whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's like just, this, this is just a physical aspect. Yeah. I wouldn't, I'm not sure I'd play tennis balls out. Mm, no, I mean, like, if you, like... You'd be too defensive. Yeah, no. And this isn't a whole, like, oh, balls. It's yeah. just, like, no, it's just, there's a reason why you wear clothes, like, yeah. in those situations. And it's somewhat of it is I mean, there's people that get injured at tennis matches just standing at the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's a matter of it hit someone in the balls. Yeah. Like, oh, there'd be a whole... Well, they wouldn't scream as loud. It's like... Rah! Yeah, <laughs> but it's it is, fold into themselves. I d- yeah, I, d- I as as much sympathy down a slide. As, as much sympathy sympathy as I've got watching so <laughs> as I've got when I see someone get hit in the balls. Like it is a good thing to. It's just, it's always a funny thing to see from like mid to long distance <laughs> yeah. where it's just oh. you just it's just smashing the balls and then oh, oh <laughs> and then just a slow crumble like yeah because you understand and you empathize with it. But it's it's just funny. I just can't, it's going down a slide, especially one that like loops and turns. Yeah. It just feels like balls are at risk. I don't think I've ever been in a slide that, that does a loop. Oh. Like yeah. upside down? Uh, no. No. No, not Maybe upside down. Like a horizontal. Yeah. But th- yeah, like, uh, what are they called? Twisters? I can't remember. Yeah. Is it called twisters? I don't in know. Roller Which coasters? One? There's loop the loops and then there's... A twist, like a corkscrew. Corkscrew. Yeah, I think I might really? have done... Somewhat of a corkscrew, maybe not a whole all the way around, maybe I'd, but pretty. I'd, I'd feel like I go, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and then spend. I like. I mean, it's bad enough like sliding on your balls. Sliding on your neck is not great. <laughs> well, I think your balls are worse. You just be like, that's, that's not a good time. Your balls but are worse, but you can live without. But then them. different people. You can't live know, without you, your neck. Yeah, but I think you'd you'd probably take more caution about losing your balls than you would your neck. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just because like the immediate pain is going to be way worse for balls, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because if, if it's your neck, you just you stop feeling everything. Yeah, it just be like, oh, that was fun. This is fine. It was a good slide. Just, <laughs> I think now <laughs> I'm drowning. Like, oh. no, I can't move. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, it was an advert for you. Oh, yeah. oh god. It's the camera for us. All right. All right. So yeah, on the uh, on three. You got it's another three. one that you've written, is it? Yeah, two, mm. one. All right. I did, I'm not supposed to say one. Three, two. Oh, you're you written this one. Um, are your swings not hospitalising enough? Are your, <laughs> <laughs> are your neighbours not knife-wielding maniacs? Are your water slide parks not filled with naked families? 
then you're not in Stoke-on-Trent. Stoke-on-Trent is where family life is sexual misconduct on a slide. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling guilty about breaking your mother's water. What? Because right. you broke your mother's All right. water. I got you. Got you. Uh, <laughs> now you can swim in it together while security guards ponder the morals of naked parents on a wave machine. <laughs> <laughs> DNA tests and stabbings go hand in hand in Stoke. So if you want to find out if you're starting a family with a painter and a decorator, you better start sharpening that machete. Uh, you'll hang yourself with happiness for being able to live here. <laughs> we also have crockery. Stoke on Trent. It's balls on a slide. <laughs> balls on a slide. <laughs> We've also got crockery. Is that the right term? I think it is, isn't it? The potteries. Yeah, yeah but like crockery is still crockery. like plates and mugs. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We've also got crockery. Yeah. I was going to say, we also have plates, but I thought that was diminutive. <laughs> yeah. So. No, it's Could some crockery. Inc- be more inclusive. Yeah, we've also got a failed Rolls Royce factory or whatever it was. Is oh, it Rolls Royce? I can't remember. Bentley? You told me Bentley. Yeah. It's ben- uh, it's, that's not failed though. It's still open. No, there was something about some big car manufacturer failing up here. Oh, Maybe it was just probably. oh Bentley's up here as well. Maybe that's a crew. Yeah, yeah balls on a slide. Um, huh. Yeah, so Stokes uh, alive with action. Good. Um, in shorter news, um, I just found this kind of funny, but also kind of terrifying. A man died by licorice. He uh, ate uh, a bag and a half of licorice a day and died in a couple of weeks. I had that one, but I took it off, so I didn't actually know what happened. What? Do you know how much licorice I eat? <laughs> More than that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, if I have a licorice binge, I don't have yeah. a bag and a half. Who stops at half a bag of licorice? <laughs> I've, I have eight tubs of sugar in my tea. <laughs> but yeah, he just ate... So apparently, licorice is just quite poisonous to people. Same way that I imagine chocolate is to dogs. Lic- black oh, so licorice is just get like people. a build-up. Yeah, I guess it just messes with you. It does go into it a little bit. Um, oh, that's something else. Uh, oh, I didn't. They didn't make any more notes. He was fifty-four years old, and his heart just stopped. Um, it's like it's like this. Uh, like rice has got arsenic in it. Yeah, and like almonds and mm. or whatever it is. Yeah, but yeah, it's just a bag and a half didn't seem like very much licorice to me. No, I think bag and a half I a day for how long? A couple of weeks. Oh. Like not even, it doesn't even say a month. So I'd say maximum two months. That's a weird habit to pick up so hard, so quickly. Well, he was eating red licorice before from memory. Oh, and he, he switched was eating, to black. He switched to black licorice for, I can't remember what the reason was. And then, oh. yeah, just killed him. Ran out. So apparently black licorice is, uh, is murderous. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll leave uh, that one and that one. And something from the audience uh, this week. A woman in China uh, lost 10 years of memories after relieving her constipation. <laughs> <laughs> so, woman in China was constipated. Yeah. She sh- unconstipated herself by shitting. Yeah. And stressing the shit so hard, she passed out and lost 10 years of memories. <laughs> That's not my wording. It sounds like my wording. But it's, but it's not. It's the, it's the wording. It's in the article. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's kind of beliefs, there's questions about whether it's true, whether it's false or whatever. But they've, um, if... IFL science, probably I fucking love science, uh, did a whole thing analysing it and said, well, if you do strenuous activity, you can faint. Like weightlifters apparently yeah. was an example. Yeah. And one of the symptoms of fainting is can, can be temporary amnesia. And mm. apparently she now wrote, she's now regained those 10 years of memories, but she's lost the memory of the shit and afterwards. <laughs> so that's, that, she shut that out. She shut that right out. <laughs> <laughs> I've never shot something and forgotten something at the same time. No. <laughs> what? Like you'd my, have to be, my pin number. It's like you'd have to be <laughs> pretty traumatic. Yeah. Well, and again, you, I think people have probably been there in different situations where you strain for whether you're shitting, whether you're trying to vomit, or whatever it is. Yeah. That you will like, you find yourself exerting yourself quite a lot. Mm. So I can understand straining a bit more. Same like what the Green Mile, he's got a urinary infection, but you still have to piss. Yeah, just yeah, forcing yeah. through it to try and get mm. some relief. So I can understand fainting from shitting, I guess. Yeah. Never lost uh, ten years of memories is just impressive. Yeah. yeah just like, I lost ten. I've years. forgotten my twenties. Lost <laughs> ten years of my life on the toilet. Let's wake up. <laughs> I'm twenty-seven. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I think that'll be uh, that's me this week. All right. 
just a few headlines from me this week. Um, recently poisoned Russian opposition leader Alexander Ale- Alexei. I can't get his name right. Alexei. Alexei. Alexei probably. It's A L E X E I. So Alexei. Is it Alexei? All right. Alexei Navalny has demanded that Russia give back his clothes. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> We're drawing the line here. Give me back my anorak. <laughs> <laughs> You're poisoned with me, Novichok. I mean, <laughs> you took my anorak. Sent me to Germany. And did you, can I just have my clothes? Yeah, my cufflinks, please. Yeah. Um, said, I demand that my clothes be carefully pack, packed in a plastic bag and returned to me. Um, so <laughs> carefully. Apparently it's, apparently it's just like a big piece of evidence in the in the case of him being poisoned covered in poison like yeah because like it's a it's bucket of poison some, splashed yeah <laughs> yeah they're, they're unsure like how it got into him and everything and like <laughs> russia exported him to germany but took his clothes first so it's like he was he was on a flight over to germany or, or, like in a hospital plane or whatever the fuck like just naked because they took his clothes and then just kicked him out mm. and now it's, he's like well, they poisoned me and like no we didn't <laughs> uh, but like, but because he's the leader of the opposition, it's like in our in our country, it'd be like Boris Johnson poisoning Keir Starmer. It's like that's not something you get every day. <laughs> that's a rarity. <laughs> yeah, but it's in Russia. It's just par for the course. Don't <laughs> oppose like Vladimir Putin. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to find the article now, but the I was speaking. You'd have to have to be a Russian politician. <laughs> it's insane. To, to, You'd go down a slide. If it, well, just if. If you thought anything that opposed current rule, you're going to die. Yeah, well, I've like, got a friend in Belarus. Yeah. Um, Belarus? Yeah, Belarus. And uh, is it Belarus? This, this whole thing's happening. Belarus. No, not Belarus. Part of Russia. The whole re- the whole thing this is happening. I think it's Belarus. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up now because that doesn't sound right. Um, oh, I've got it here. No, it is Belarus. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I was speaking to him about it. He's saying it's all going kind of crazy at the moment. So I gave it a Google and the first, if I just Googled Belarus last night, it came up with the Times article. Keep protesting and you'll lose your children. Belarus mothers told. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <That's> intense. <laughs> so intense. <laughs> Keep protesting. We love children. Yeah. Keep protesting. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just take we'll all take the all of them. It's crazy. Reprogram them. Yeah. Kill you all. <laughs> Send them back. And create our new society. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it is mental. I don't think you should get your clothes back, really. But, it's but I guess like, if it's a weapon. I mean, at some point... I mean, I guess you... T- I, I guess he's addicted to power. Like, it's that thing of, like... Putin. No, I'm, yeah. Like, yeah. But, like, if that was me, I'd just be like, no, I'm, I'm kind of exhausted. I'm, 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 I'll retire. Someone else... And, but like what what mm. what's the end plan because it's not like he's not gonna die like well, he's going to die at some point and then there's going to be some like weird massive power vacuum there well it depends he might go down the Saddam route of just cloning himself <laughs> spreading himself <laughs> across Asia likes and- <laughs> yeah. you'll never know when Putin's really dead <laughs> where's Putin yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, another news: uh, a man from Wisconsin was reportedly shocked after finding a brain on the beach. <laughs> not surprised not confused just yeah. <gasps> <laughs> uh, fair play police said the brain did not belong to a human but medical examiners are unsure what animal it did come from uh, some members of the community suspect that the brain may have been part of uh, a send-off ritual for the dead which uh, includes Don't items. Forget your brain. Which includes <laughs> items such as money and flowers that they can use in the afterlife. All right, yeah, yeah. Brains, brains, <laughs> legs. Yeah, have some legs. Yeah, keys, wallet, phone, brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, they're saying it wasn't a human brain. I mean, wasn't it? Maybe it was an animal brain. They found it wrapped pets, in right? tin foil and like unwrapped it, like a like potato just a brain. Yeah, <laughs> just a brain. Just a hmm. slow roasted brain. If you fancy yeah. a snack on the way down, yeah. the way down. Not sure what it is. All they said is like, it's, it's not it's not human, so don't worry. All right, it's just a brain. All right. Well, like I, just because just because there isn't a guy taking human brains and casting yeah. them into the <laughs> sea doesn't mean we shouldn't be worried about him. Yeah. If it was like maybe it was the practice brain of a wren. for something. Practice. <laughs> oh, the good old tin foil brain practice. Man. <laughs> yeah. Like Work, it could be working a human my way brain. up to elephants. Could be a human brain next time. We should still try and find out why it was there. 
Do you reckon brains look the same? What do you mean? Oh, like I said they, there was a picture of it in the article. Like it looks pretty. Yeah. It looks like a brain. But like all brains, would you reckon? Like like uh, say like a fish brain. Mm. Do you reckon that would look similar in terms of like wrinkles and I think pink? I only know brains from teenage mint. Mi- mi- yeah, no, no, I get, I get you, I get you. I, th- I think, <sighs> I reckon they all look the same. I, th- I probably different, d- different shapes and measurements, and that yeah, sort yeah. of thing. But, but all like, hearts, right? All hearts, pretty, pretty much look the same. Yeah, even like a frog's and heart. they all function mm. like well, it's mammalian. Well, no, because even like reptile yeah. hearts and stuff like that, this looks like a heart. We all evolved that same, yeah, thing. Different brains, yeah. Because you think like an elephant, I'm assuming, has got a larger brain than yeah. a human being. Yeah. And if they look the same, you go like, oh, maybe they just haven't got as many wires. Maybe it's not as like toned yeah. as a human yeah. brain. Yeah. But then you get like yeah, some like reptiles, not which is like, well, we do, we do the, the whole empathy, emotion side of it, we don't need that. We just, just cast that into the sea, I guess. Yeah, but they wave, like, don't they? What, reptiles? Yeah. Do they? Oh, like yeah. the lizards on a rock. Yeah, like, you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's a sign of submissiveness, I think. Oh, is it? I think so. Or like, uh, yeah, like... Uh, yeah, please don't hurt me. <laughs> well, I think it's like a... Well, <laughs> <laughs> I've got some radical ideas, but I'm not going to bite you, all right? BLM. Know, like, just... <laughs> yeah. Um, in, other, yeah. in other news, uh, uh, a man has accidentally swallowed a toothbrush while brushing his teeth. <laughs> 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 the hell was that? <laughs> Just a guy in India who's brushing his teeth and it's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a 39 year old unnamed <laughs> <Electric> man <toothbrush. laughs> said he was trying to clean his, clean his tooth cavities uh, when the brush slipped out of his hands and he swallowed it. <laughs> like, just, I, how? Like, yeah. I don't, what? Well, there's like a hu- the, the human gag like, reflex. People have to it? train to swallow swords and stuff, like yeah. that whole kind of. But maybe like some thing. people don't. Maybe some people like the outsiders who like they don't have a gag reflex or whatever. Oh, right. Maybe. And they just have, they just, every time yeah. they brush their teeth, there's a risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing I felt liked about that was, was was there was a follow up bit that was um uh, this is not and the, the toothbrush is doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the first time such an incident has happened. Doctors from southern Chinese hosp- from a southern Chinese hosp- hospital had last year uh, removed a 14 centimeter long toothbrush from a man's intestines who'd swallowed he'd swallowed 20 years ago in a bid to commit suicide. <laughs> 